We're going to start it off with a guy heavily featured in the Comedy Store documentary. He's absolutely a wild man. He's one of our favorite comedians of all time and always, always entertaining as hell. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the big red machine, William Montgomery. I know that. I know that dude. Here it is, 60 seconds uninterrupted from William Montgomery. Uh, do I look like the kind of guy that would kill a journalist? Uh, do I look like the kind of guy that would do business with Hunter Biden? Uh, quick joke for you people. What do you call a woman driver? Uh, beheaded. Uh, what do I call it when I throw my wife off of a mountain for not birthing a male heir? Uh, a flying carpet. My wife is so ugly I couldn't sell her to a human trafficking organization. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Hopefully not in my country because you'll never see her again. Uh, Tony spends more time in a sand trap than a Saudi drug dealer. That's a golf joke. Not fair, not fair. <laughs> That's all I got. That's unbelievable. What a performance. What a performance. What a way to kick off tonight's show. William Montgomery delivering jokes as a... How would you describe this character? What are you here tonight? Uh, an Arab sheik. An Arab sheik. Heck yeah. And uh, was that perhaps your Halloween costume? It was. I spent uh, $300 on it. My goodness. He, he looks like the Virgin Mary if she wasn't a virgin. It's like the Virgin Harry. <laughs> <laughs> the Virgin Harry. That was Jeremiah Watkins. The Virgin right Gary. There. All right. Um, Virgin Scary. What, what did you do for Halloween dressed like that? Where'd you go? Um, I actually did a show. David was on it. Um, I How was it? I dominated him in the show. David did pretty poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? It was a little disappointing. Oh, we're to gonna see. have to follow up with David about this in a little bit. What made you pick an Arab sheik for Halloween? I don't know. I've always been intrigued by the Muslim religion. Yeah. What about the, that religion intrigues you? I don't know. Just all the Muhammad stuff. I'm really a big fan. You're Jeez. a big fan of Muhammad. Correct. In what way? Like, why? Why are you a big fan of Muhammad? Uh, he used to eat a bunch of deer meat, and I'm a big fan of deer meat. What, have you ever eaten deer meat? I actually, I uh, was on the phone with my dad earlier this week, and I told him I was getting uh, uh, Indian food, and he was like, what are you talking about, deer meat? <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> like the uh, dot thinks? type of Indian, not the feather type of Indian. <laughs> I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, deer meat? William, did you know our, produ <laughs> did you know our producer's name is David Deer Meat? I love David Deermeat. <laughs> Number one producer, man. David Deermeat. <laughs> David Deermeat. Oh, my God. I love David Deermeat. Also, you look like I could bum a camel cigarette off you. You got one? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is an interesting look. So you ended up doing a show for Halloween. Did you dress up with someone? Did you go to that show with a date or something? Uh, yes, with uh, my lady friend. With your girlfriend. What was she dressed up as? <laughs> What was she dressed up as, William? Uh, didn't dress up as anything. Whoa! So that's, this seems like she seems as much fun as we've always heard. Uh, she we is. probably shouldn't get into this subject. Oh, I don't know why this because she listens to the show just to find things to complain. We to really about. shouldn't get every into single, this subject. Every single episode, please you get in, you get let's in trouble. not get into this subject because <laughs> you're gonna get in please. trouble. Please, let's stop. <laughs> I love Tony. this character, the Saudi guy who's afraid of his wife. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Schulberg. Uh, Don Barris is here. Do I know your girlfriend? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You may you ever... have. Uh, you may recognize her by her giny. Hold on. You could. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I Hard didn't know. To, Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. Congratulations. Do you yeah, think she was into much. your costume? Did you guys role play at all? A lot of role playing. Yeah, what kind of uh what kind of uh things did you do? 
a lot of knocking on the door, trying to get inside of the bedroom, not being allowed to get inside of the bedroom, whole bunch of knocking. More like um, a lot of cinnamon role play. <laughs> what does that mean? You're fat, dog. <laughs> You know, we heard that last week that uh, William got so drunk that he shit himself, and uh, it uh, fell on the floor. No, I didn't. We don't need to talk about this one here. <laughs> yeah, we do. I had no idea about this. This is one of the perks of not listening God. to Brothers in Cursive, is that I find out all the, the, the best highlights, like this, live <laughs> on the spot, and you get to see my genuine <laughs> reaction to it. So you had a heavy, serious drinking problem. I started problem, drinking again a little bit. And then you took a few weeks off drinking, or at least you said that you were while coming in here yeah. sweating profusely. Uh, I'm hot as shit in this right now. I bet. I'm sweating bad right now. I bet you are. You're, you're completely hot. in character. You're a real Arab sheik. It's so hot. explain it's to us how you ended up shitting your pants. Or, did, I mean, hopefully it uh, wasn't during Halloween because you're not really wearing any pants. I was wearing this outfit. It took me a while to take it off. Wow. Um, to think that you even went to the extent of smelling like an Arab man, too. <laughs> <laughs> God. He, uh, he went trick-or-treating definitely looking for 72 virgins. <laughs> what does that fucking mean? Explain to us how you shit your pants, William. This is great, I great podcasting. Uh, uh, I was close to the toilet. My body was ready to doo-doo. I did not have my shorts When you say off. close to the toilet, what are we talking about probably here? A foot in, the, away. in the living room? Uh, no, probably a foot away. I was looking at the toilet. Dude, you got to point your ass towards Mecca, fool. <laughs> so <laughs> what were you doing? Why were you looking at the toilet? I was trying to take this stuff off. What stuff? And I couldn't. His, my uh, clothes. Outfit. Oh, your outfit. He's been wearing that for a week. I've been wearing this a week. Wow. Okay. And then you're trying to take off the outfit, but you feel like and coming out. And I couldn't, out. and doo-doo came out. Where did it land? In my shorts and also on the floor. One of the <laughs> pairs of shorts that you got here on this show? Yeah, a new pair of shorts. <laughs> do you, did you wash them or did you throw them out? I washed them. Oh, disgusting. Yeah, you just throw Jesus. them away. When so you have William, I'm actually wearing them right now. William, we got you 40 <laughs> pairs of free shorts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found my favorite pair, and I'm wearing them right now. Wow. You are soaking wet with sweat right it now. It is. This I'm is... hot as shit. I'm just waiting for you to tell me to get off. I am hot <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> I'm waiting to get Tony, off. Be, before you let him off, <laughs> I have never heard anybody shit in their pants before. I know nobody here has. So please tell more. Yeah, so after you shit your pants, did you, you, did you like yell for your girlfriend? Yeah, this girl or... actually helped him out. Right? Wow. wow. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, what did she do exactly? <laughs> Lord uh, knows she loves being in shitty situations. So. <laughs> By the way, I do know his girlfriend. I now remember her. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It's all coming back to Don. Uh, she once helped Don when he pooped his pants <laughs> once. <laughs> no, this so what, is, did, what did she do to help you? Uh, got my, my pants and my boxers. Um, Wiped the doo-doo off of me. She in wiped it off of you? In the shower. I was screaming in the shower, <laughs> get your fucking hands off that of me. That sounds like the worst way to propose I've ever heard, man. <laughs> like, dig through it. There's a ring in there, bitch. <laughs> this poor woman. This poor woman. I think she <laughs> likes it. I, think. I know. I do feel kind of bad after everything, after all the shit talk. Let me I ask feel you this. Bad. Here's a, here's a final question. I genuinely question. feel bad. Cool. Oh, before you ask yeah. the final, can I ask yeah, the question? Absolutely. You can ask the final question. No, of question, course. You go right ahead. I, have you ever done anything else this close to embarrassing your girlfriend? Anything else like shitting in your pants? Anything else? Maybe masturbating, wiping it on her. Yeah, back. all kinds of all kinds of stuff. I think, but I don't know. All right now would uh, be a good time to tell us. Go right ahead. No, I don't know. This is not. This isn't a good time. I this think is the, the worst feels time. it's a good time. You, 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 you can guys tell think by their. So? <laughs> I think that everybody wants to hear it. I, I'm kidding. I don't even know what I would. I don't know what I would say. Wow, I've never seen you this stumped before. I Norm, don't normally know an, what I would say. Improvisational guru, <laughs> and uh, it appears as though we have found the Achilles heel of this Arab. You sheep. have. Here's the question that I had. <clears throat> yeah, because you've been dating this girl a while. Very what we would describe as a tumultuous relationship. Uh, 
Oh, Ooh, Don's Ooh. getting a Don's getting a phone it's call. It's William's girl right now calling Don. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please stop fucking oh, bringing God. me up during pancakes? <laughs> oh God. Okay, so here's my question for you, William. <laughs> yeah, if your what? girlfriend, who you've been yes. with now for what eight, ten months, a year, how long you guys been together? I don't know, year, year and a half. Year maybe. and a half. Boy, does time fly. Let me ask you this: if, if she shit her pants a foot away from the toilet and, and opened the door and was like, William, I shit my pants. I need your help. What, how would you react to that? I would uh, slam the bathroom door shut. I would get in my fucking car <laughs> and I would leave. There you go. I'd That's what I thought. Perfect answer. answer. That's it. That's a way out right there. I'd Ladies and to. gentlemen, the great Thank William you. Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> there he goes. The big red machine. William Montgomery. <laughs> Here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, William Montgomery. Uh, if there's anything I've learned from OnlyFans.com, it's that my account's not doing too well. Um, I wrote a Cliff's Notes to Anne Frank's diary. Spoiler alert, the only suspenseful part of the diary is when she writes, I heard a knock at the door, but I don't remember ordering anything off Amazon. Uh, what are y'all's plans for Ford Truck Month? Uh, CNN be like O.J. Simpson was mostly peaceful that night besides two minor incidents. Uh, Tony almost made his first hole in one this weekend, but the windmill knocked it out of the way. Uh, Kamala Harris has so much black pride, she married a white Jew. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. That's all you got? 45 seconds? Oh, God. Two, two, two. Uh, all right. There it is. Okay, so here's a minute. That's what a minute was like. It came in a there touch under 45 seconds. Don't you have a few more Kamala Harris jokes you could do for the people? <laughs> I yeah, was get saving her. them. Come on. You must have at least one more, right? I was they were in my notebook and I I'm bad I've uh it's actually weird. I stopped drinking and my memory's gotten worse. Really? I don't think that normally happens, but yeah, my memory's got gone to shit ever since I stopped drinking. Oh my goodness. Well what are you gonna do about it? I've actually I started drinking earlier. <laughs> you did. <laughs> what did you have to drink today? A little vodka sprite. And you've been trying to not drink up until this point? No, I've still been drinking a little bit. So uh, you're, you're back, back to the liquor, though. You, you were drinking just beer for a while, and that seemed like that was working. Well, you walked the wheelchair guy. <laughs> He's walking? It's okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you make the switch from beer back to hard liquor? I don't know. It's been a really tough week for me this week. Yeah, why has it been a tough week, William? Um, what was so tough about this week? Over at Erica's place, her grandmother is sick. Oh, that's her name? I've always wanted her name. Now I'll call her Erica from now on. When yeah, I speak Erica, about her. her... This is your girlfriend that sometimes beats you, Yeah, right? no, but she's really nice. We need to quit talking like that because it makes Oh, well, now you're the one that said her first name. You say her name's America? Yeah, that's what yeah. I did. So... <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Suck the dick, America. Okay. No, basically, I, her and... grandmother had a really bad headache yesterday, and she's showing signs of COVID, and I felt sick as fuck for the past three days so i'm i'm just worried that i gave her COVID. did you get tested man i haven't i'm feeling really good because bad it's right fake now. news man it's not a real disease <laughs> yeah, masks i think, I think <laughs> your grandmother's really sick but and you're, you're you're joking right no i mean i'm sick as a dog they did my temperature and it was 106 and i was like no i have a zach uh, come over here this is gonna yeah, be I was our gonna first say, like, ever get, yeah what this is our first ever live temperature check in the history of Kill Tony. Leave it to William Montgomery to worry us like I this. told him, don't worry, it's because I have a sweatshirt on. What is that? And then uh, what, what do you got for the temperature there, Zach? 98.2. 98.2 is actually Hell yeah. pretty Did hot it, That's on pretty that. hot, yeah. 98 degrees within <laughs> sync. William, you're, the grandma's fine, right? She's fine, I hope. I had to help her down the uh, stairs today. She oh, went wow. to a doctor's appointment. Yeah, for what? Her hip. Oh, you sure your girlfriend didn't just punch her in the in the hip? Oh Come on, Red Man. Come on, Red Man. How old is she, William? Your grandmother? She is probably 74. And where is she from? Reseda. Born and raised? 
Born and raised Your in grandma's the- 74? I don't have a grandmother. Oh. I thought you were talking about Erica's. Oh, this is her grandma. She's 74? Yeah, I think 74. Jeez. Oh, I thought you were talking about your grandma. How old's your girlfriend? She's, I don't know, 42. <laughs> 42? <laughs> How old's her mother? Uh, 36. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. I'm bad at math. Well, no, what should I have, have said? a girlfriend. That's what that means. <laughs> How have things been with the girlfriend? How's the sex life? Do you guys have sex this week? Uh, she normally gets on top of me and I hold her up and sometimes I run out of breath because I've been smoking a bunch recently. And How come she doesn't let you get on top of her? I can't how my body is right now. It's hard for me to have sex with uh, with someone with this gut I've got. It's hard to how get on top. How long is your erect penis? <laughs> <laughs> it's a damn good question. Wow. This, I don't know. This four pod- inches maybe? Whoa. I had a feeling about that. <laughs> what what do does four inches look, look like? William has a lot of different energies. None of them is big dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's probably uh, yeah, three or four inches. And I how imagine. long? How long are your pubic hairs? Longer than that. Right, <laughs> right. So when you get a boner, it just looks like it looks like one of those uh, mushrooms from uh, Mario Brothers. It looks like a troll doll. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know how like peep girl like like teenage girls when they go to Venice Beach, they get those hair wraps. <laughs> it's just he got like a hair wrap around his dick. Yeah, it looks I'm like real a glad doll. I took the time to say that. Goodbye. I thought it was great. Why power? Uh, Thank no, you. he's really charming. You're like, you're like, you have like a really charming personality. Like your, your personality is like nine inches. Yeah. Swinging. Like lucky charms, yeah. you redheaded bitch. Okay. You got like a there nine inch go. charming dick. I loved that joke, by the way. Thank you. But that, yeah. that was very good. Um, and it, I don't think it got hurt. You know, William's one of the few people that I've seen do roast battle where it's almost impossible to roast him because his, what he, how he roasts, his style it's almost like you can't lose. Uh, he he will just pull out, throw out ridiculous facts about the, the other guy that's not true. Oh, he, he, he sounds of. like a trumper. Yeah. Sort of. It goes it goes either way. Either that yeah, or it's he been gets, a disaster he, before. He gets yeah. swarmed. Yeah. Yeah. Wait it's a been a it's horrible completely. disaster before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, Embar- I bet you say the n word adorably. Honestly. Do you think so? So what, you have that kind of like look about you, like you say it, but it's like it's like ah, it's like I'm kidding. Yeah. William, William, let's go back. It's like for a, a troll doll with a with a diamond tummy. Because <laughs> we don't often get to talk about your sex life, and we are already opened up this can of worms. Yeah, let's so keep you, talking about so it. So you have uh, what a lot of people would say is a small penis. Do you go? Yeah. Do you go down on your girlfriend? Do you perform oral sex on her? Is that something? This you, first off, I'm thinking this isn't going to go over well when she sees this. Oh God, you got to stop worrying about um, this abusive girlfriend. Oh, we, <laughs> no, not in a way like she's going to hit me. Gonna, no, you're, don't do that. You're going to get beat up. It's dude. nothing bad. Listen to the sound. Oh, that's a, that's a baseball bat. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's I'm a start around now. too. I'm on edge and now. new. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. Uh, oh no! That's a bowling is ball. Is that a bowling ball? Oh, oh, no. oh my god! Okay, do you ever perform oral sex on her? I have before. Yeah, how many times do you think? Every day. This is something you don't like to do very Probably often. For thirty seconds, I've done it. Wow! Look at you. Yeah, whatever. I'm a ladies' man. So. Wow! You wait, wait. This is a regular. You guys thir- know how he fucks, don't you? Don't you ask him every week how he fucks? No, we don't. We like to keep these things. We uh, then we, we we let the tension build, and then all of a sudden, just one day, I over attack the subject, <laughs> and then they then they feel completely raped afterwards after I get all the truth out of them because they didn't think I was going to keep asking about it. That's why I like to move forward, like we just did a second ago, and now we're going back to, it and they don't expect it, so they start being honest. Yeah, I've done I it for like forty five seconds. Can't, I learned Before. this all from Jim Can't Swim. They break down criminal investigations and like uh, <laughs> uh, negotiations. And Is things. Jim black? Uh oh. Okay. Anyway, oh, I get it. Because he can't swim, Tony. That's why I made it. I, I, I got it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, inward Jim. Thirty seconds, really? You being honest? Yeah, it doesn't happen a lot. It seems. Why doesn't it happen a lot? She must like it, right? Women like that type of thing. How I don't know. You? Do all women? I don't know if all women. Are you saying your girl doesn't like you going down on her? Let me try. Yeah, I don't think it's all women. They like it if it's good. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a great point. Well, I don't know what I'm well, doing down there. I think William just fall asleep down there and <laughs> wake up, say, "Give me your beer." Darlene, out of your uh, <laughs> out of out of the, all the family members that you uh, that you hook up with, oh who's, my God. who's the one that uh, pleases you the most? If I had to pick between my brother and my cousin, <laughs> who, uh, well, you know, my brother and I go back a long time, so I, I'd have to see my brother. <laughs> Is that how you do it, Dave? Yeah, like the Geico Gecko, just. Wow, well, Tony! First time I ever had Waterburger was between her legs. I'll tell you that. <laughs> wow, indeed. Uh, William, can you show oh, us your method burger, when man. you go down on a girl? What do you do? Wait a minute. Can we? Uh, can we, <laughs> Lieutenant People General? People can't can we... uh, home see this, but Darlene is drinking a beer while pregnant. Tony, you didn't even point that out. Oh my yeah, goodness! That's beer. a hoax, Darlene. man. That shit ain't bad for you. That baby looks bunched up. You can see just limbs sticking out of there. He's tall. He's that's ready why. to come out. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, we are now going to zoom in. William is about to show us how he performs you put that ben oral Folds sex. Five song on what? Brick by Ben Folds Five. It'll get me in what the What song? Brick by Ben Folds Five. Brick by this nor- ben That's what Folds I did. The one time I did it. That's the song that was There's playing. There's your first mistake. <laughs> What's going on over here? <laughs> what do you mean? That's got me all dried up more than a salty <laughs> cracker. <laughs> you fucking cracker. Um, okay. You we, get one. We don't sorry, have a... Uh, sorry. I forgot where I was. I was we get 50. That was Biden's America. You don't have to put it on. Here. Here's, uh... You, you want, want to see s- how I did it? Uh, hold on just one second. We got it. Here we go. This is how William eats the vagina. We're zoomed in on William here. A beautiful, beautiful shot from Lieutenant General Zach Bogus on camera one. Here he goes. You don't have to... Okay. You don't have to actually lick the microphone. It's probably better if you don't because then Just we play can... play the fucking song, Red Man! We can see what you're doing. Stay on him, Bogus. This is romantic. It's awful pussy eating. Yeah. Some of the worst I've is seen. Is that not good? No, he's just no, getting that's started. Sad. No, he's yeah, getting yeah. started. Let him go. I'm Let getting him go. started. He's, it's just warming up a little bit. There's some soft licks happening. A lot of beard rubbing up against. I could see why she no, only. No, it's was... like a cat drinking milk from a saucer. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, a no. cat drinking from saucers? Yeah, from I... saucers. Keep going, yeah, William. Saucers? Going. Yeah, like a 1950s no. cartoon. No, I'm not going to let him scream his way out of this one. <laughs> you, you and him, you guys all take the bait. Ah! Yeah, thank you. I do have a feeling his tongue t- it feels like sandpaper. William, is that all that you do? You just yeah, rub I don't your know beard? what else to do. You rub your beard yeah, against yeah. it? I don't know what else to do. On what <laughs> body part does that ever feel good? On an arm? All you did was get the baby to kick. That's it. <laughs> Blowing it a little. Is something going to change? Are you going to do something? No, this is what I did. I'm waiting for like something <laughs> to happen. This is what I did. I think my baby just died inside of me. For those of you just listening to the podcast, which happens a lot, not watching live, uh, <laughs> he, he has his mouth about a quarter of an inch open, but he's just rubbing his face on it. Yeah, that's all I know. Not a good advertisement for you eating pussy or anybody else's. Yeah, you okay, I'm sorry. A... I made a mistake. No wonder she hates it. Yeah, you yeah, eat... didn't even put a bib on. You okay, eat... I made a mistake. You eat pussy like a guy that has a 14-inch dick. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's, re- that's real. I like that. You that eat pussy like a bad mistake. I'm sorry. Never has to eat pussy. Oh, my God. I made a horrible mistake. I apologize. All right. Well, we had fun with you this week. There goes William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Another minute by William there's no better way to do it than with a real fucking ace in the hole. You know what I mean? A real fucking go-getter. A real fucking little dirty dirt ball. <laughs> this guy right here kicking off the show. One of my favorite human beings. An unbelievable comedian. A new minute every single week. He's the big red machine, everybody. It's the great William Montgomery. Here he is. Great William Montgomery. Uh, every night I lay in bed staring at the ceiling hoping hoping that the Miss Piggy poster doesn't fall on me. Uh, anyways, have you ever seen Miss Piggy naked? Uh, I'll send you the link. Uh, did y'all hear about the money Harvard gave back when they heard it was from Jeffrey Epstein? Uh, just kidding, Harvard condones that. Um... Kamala Harris has come out against legalizing prostitution uh, unless it involves sleeping with the mayor of San Francisco to boost your career. Uh, On the one hand, I feel bad about slavery. On the other hand, I watch documentaries about Africa and I'm like, damn, y'all better be glad you boarded the ship. 
All right. <laughs> All right, cutting it up a little early there. 51 seconds. I like it. I was hoping it'd be close to a minute, but it's not. It was. I was nine seconds off. You really? <laughs> yep. You really? Uh, you really? Uh, that was great, William. How about a bit another hand for William, everybody? Yeah. Come on, out here, still <laughs> writing jokes, writing a new minute every single week. Not easy to do. A lot of these people on this show, it's their first time or it's the return of them not being here for months. You have the toughest job, and every week you just shine over there, don't you? What's, what are you what's, why are you making that face, William? Can we, Zach, here, can you zoom in on William's why face? Why is he making that? He looks like a what's bad happening? boy. Exactly. Uh, awkward, uh, awkward conversation starter. William and I dated a time ago. <laughs> we did. It was nice. I love that. William, why are you making that face tonight? What's going on? I don't know. That? I'm not meaning to. What face am I making? Hey, that William. <laughs> just I, I might have missed one of your jokes. What was the one about Africa again? Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't do that one again. <laughs> uh, out of all the ones. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I wasn't sure if I miss, missed it or not. No, nah, you just basically... Uh, have you ever seen the documentaries about Africa? Beautiful place. I David know, Attenborough it is does a great job. I know, I love it there. I got a it. new hat there. What's the F stand for? For Florida Gators. William, what's up with the face that you're making tonight? <laughs> I know, I'm eating. The light is making me do it. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline, Tony. <laughs> is everything okay? What'd you, what'd no, you... the light's making me do it. <laughs> did you, did you, why is it doing this? The same light every week. <laughs> yeah, did you eat acid before tonight's show? <laughs> What's going on? What 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 did you uh what did you do today, William? Um, what did I do? I uh, I ate some tamales. Yeah, what you where'd you do that at? In the uh, kitchen. It's a place. What is the place called? It's called like the Tamale Kitchen. That seems pretty on the nose. <laughs> do you think William has ever told you the truth about no, anything? No, I don't think okay. so. I just want to make sure. Yeah, the tamale kitchen. It was really good. I had a chicken and green chili tamale. Wow. Yeah, it was really good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Do you, how many, t just, just a couple tamales? That's all you had? Yeah, a couple tamales and a couple of chicken. Uh, um, what are those things called? You put uh, stuff in the middle of them. Tacos? And put, yeah, tacos. <laughs> I had two tacos as well. Sometimes <laughs> if, if I eat a, a lot of tamales, I call them too minis. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? I'm going to start using that. That was yeah, funny. Yeah, that. You can have it. That's exciting about your child. Oh, don't talk about my child. Oh, please. look at that. Look who's questioning the guests can I be all the of a grandfather? sudden. Look at the new host of the show, everybody. Look at this fucking guy. Can I be the grandfather? <laughs> <laughs> can I? William, what else happened this week? Any other highlights of your week this week? Anything stand out to you? Uh, I almost saw... Uh, I thought I was seeing my girlfriend's uh, grandfather die. That was pretty exciting. You got to see Not that? in a good way, but a scary way. Yeah. What happened? She met you? Had a, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm trying to have fun in here tonight. <laughs> what happened with the grandfather? Had a bad seizure. Was it a stroke? You, you, uh, yeah, you... it was like a stroke slash seizure. <laughs> my God, how old was he? So now I've turned into his personal chauffeur, which I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> did you bring him with it? Did you bring him with you here tonight? Yeah, I think he's in the bathroom still. Maybe <laughs> there's just a seizured out girlfriend's grandfather. Correct. Did wow. you perform? Were you like a first responder? Did I perform did oral? <laughs> Why'd you ask me that? Why'd you ask me mouth that? To that mouth, seems like, weird. To help him stay alive. Yeah, like when he started having the seizure, did you get like, like try to help him or did what? You did you, did you, what happened? What, what were you doing? I was just watching. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Can you, can you give us an impression of you watching the grandfather? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you just did nothing? What was, what was he doing? Well, can the you, ambulance people Can you came. do an impression? Can you look at that camera there that Zach's behind and do an impression of the grandpa having a seizure? That's what a seizure looks like? That, uh, that's, what you've been, that's what you've been doing the whole time <laughs> up here tonight. <laughs> that's the face I was asking you why you're making. What's going on in that house? <laughs> What'd you have? Seizure tamales? Uh, he had little he had little seizures. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. 
So uh, when he was having a seizure, you just sat there and stared at him the whole time? Well, the you paramedics did? came. Well, I mean, yeah. they, they came like 10 minutes later. Well, you if you would have done anything, that's a legal search and seizure. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? You know what that means, William. I do know what that means. Wow. So your grandfather had a seizure, but he survived. He's alive. He's alive. Yes. What, do you, what are you guys keeping him? It sounds like you're... Just saying that he's alive so you can collect his, like, unemployment <laughs> benefits or something. You guys collecting a check on this guy? Yes. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I Is he in, like, up. a vegetative state? or? <laughs> no, he seems normal. <laughs> he seems Everything's normal. all right. Yeah, he seems really normal. I think normal. that's the first time Mitch has ever said vegetative <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> he's never seen a vegetative, and he's never said a vegetative before. <laughs> Man, well, you also got in a car accident. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I did. I was, uh, uh, <laughs> who gets I reminded forgot. of that shit? Oh, I yeah, was, I did. Uh, I went to a McDonald's on Friday morning Hell and yeah. I was leaving the McDonald's. And before that, my uh, breakfast, breakfast at McDonald's. Yeah. What'd I you get? get? Two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits and a hash brown. Oh, you went with the Jeez. biscuits, huh? Two. Of and them. a single hash brown? What'd you wash that down with? Uh, water. Water? Yeah, I was real I dehydrated. I don't take I was, you as a water guy. I picture you the orange high C. Yeah, I, I go for the orange drink instead of the orange juice. I got the uh, got the water, and up to this <laughs> point, um, uh, my car door wasn't locking properly, so I couldn't. I had to hold it when I was driving, and. <laughs> Hold on, William. I'm sorry. <laughs> Red Band just said like that that was like a normal thing. Like, yeah. yeah. I prefer the orange orange soda pop to the orange juice for breakfast. Didn't you as a kid rather have the orange drink? This is why you're the fatter than me now. <laughs> <laughs> orange juice has way more sugar than orange, orange band. I see. <laughs> My goodness. Substituting orange juice for the orange drink. I mean, I was making a joke about it, but... Uh, but uh, <laughs> I don't do that like, now, but yeah, as a kid, I used right. to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The high C was awesome when you played sports and they had that big yellow container. The the, you the, didn't the, play the high sports. C. I have a question. As a kid, did you have an? As a kid, did you have an e trike? <laughs> an no. e trike has been called on the field. They don't even have those, back then. <laughs> but they should. <laughs> Red Band's new business. E trikes. But yeah, so I'm taking a left out of the McDonald's and a... Uh, Is it a two-lane or a four-lane? It's a four-lane. Oh, boy. You're making a left out on a four-lane? Wow. I, I am. Did I it identify as a highway or a traffic road? I think an expressway. Okay. Maybe it was a byway. Boing. I think it was an expressway. Go ahead, William. You're making so a left So I'm turn. taking a left, and next thing I know, I was hungover. I wasn't in my right mind. I was looking at my sausage biscuits, and I pull out, and... You were, pu- you were pulling out what? The biscuits? No, just my out car of his girlfriend. Out of the, uh... Your pullout game is even worse than Mitch Burrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this situation, it was. I was taking a left. I was pulling out of the uh, McDonald's driveway, and... Next thing I know, somebody's to my left, screeching their tires, honking. Well, that means you didn't look. This is I your missed fault. it somehow. I've this never been in a car fault. crash. I've never Wait. been in a car crash. Wait, let me ask you this. Did you eat your biscuits yet? Did, are you? No, not yet. They're just in your bag? Are you by yourself? I had yourself? to wait like an hour later. It turned into a whole ordeal. Are you by yourself on this I'm trip? I'm by myself. Really? Yeah. So the bag's just sitting on the passenger seat. It's sitting on the passenger seat. I slam on the brakes. Um, Why do you slam on the brakes? If because the lady's <laughs> coming at me. She slams on the brakes. If you would have hit the gas, you probably would have been fine. I don't know. People are coming on the other, going the other oh, way. Jesus, what so did you? you There's out, traffic did you just, everywhere. Did you, you just not, not look at all? <laughs> <laughs> you, you were you still I sort of can't remember. You just kept the momentum that you had in the parking lot just going. And I go. It. it sounds like a suicide mission yeah. that you were on. <laughs> I'm so guessing the, the tr- only time you hit the brakes was when you saw a car When screeching. she was right there to my left, I hit the brakes. My fucking door flings open because it doesn't lock correctly. His, right, his passenger <laughs> side door doesn't shut correctly, so it just flung. Shut up. So up. my door, my driver's side door, when I hit the brakes really hard, it flings open very hard, and it slams into the front of her car. So the door flies open. Does your food fly out of the door? No, it's just there, and I'm just looking at the <laughs> lady. And I'm just... it. Did you put a seatbelt on your bag of McDonald's? I put my food in a car seat. It was on the floor. <laughs> I, I have a baby seat for my car. It was on the floor. Um, and then I was wondering if I should just drive off. She was looking very angry. and Why would you think that? Of course you wouldn't do that. Yeah, that not What, drive off? Turn, turn this basic fender bender into a felony hit and run. Yeah. I know I didn't. Wait, what? 
What'd you do? He thought about driving I off. I thought about driving of off. Of course he did. No, he's a wild man. Now That's how they think. This is their first reaction. He's a rebel. Look at look at the way the he's built. The police would never <laughs> find you either. Be on the lookout for a car that when you hit the brakes, the passenger door swings open. Right. <laughs> I'm guessing you drank a lot, a shitload the night before. You were probably still drunk. Yep. I wouldn't necessarily say that, but I was hungover. Well, yeah. I've been doing real good on the drinking recently. It doesn't really seem like it. You're hungover, <laughs> not looking either direction, pulling out of a McDonald's, causing massive accidents. What happened to the lady that hit you? Was uh, she hurt? No, she was pregnant. Um, <laughs> we, she was pregnant. You pulled out in front of my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. It's a pregnant Hispanic lady. And uh, oh, well, we know those are. We, what are the odds? <laughs> Well, we meet Never up. Never heard of one of those. We met up in a neighborhood, and uh, we exchanged information, but I didn't get her information. She just got mine. Oh, that's great, William. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get out of the situation. I didn't want the cops to come. Um, oh, boy. Well, she probably doesn't have a driver's license or car insurance. Yeah. She said it was her boss's car, and oh, now I'm waiting. Fuck. Now what I'm waiting of, to get a What kind of car was back. it? What kind of car was it? I think a Toyota Camry. Oh, jeez. What kind of boss drives a Toyota Camry? My God. Boss. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still waiting to hear back. Hear, I don't think you're hear going back. To. I haven't heard back. No, you you, you were the best person for this lady to run into because she's definitely never going to reach out to you. Well, how, how is her car going to get fixed? It, well, El Jefe is going to take care of it. Yeah, I but, hope it didn't no, sound like My dad's busy, was. dude. <laughs> I'm a little worried about it. I'm not kidding. I'm a little worried about it. I haven't heard back. Hell yeah. What else, William? Anything else? What what happened then? Who is your car t- ruined? No, I actually took it to a really nice, uh, really nice man, and he fixed all the locks for free because there was like a recall on the on the locks. Oh, fixed the locks. Yeah, he fi- so well, he fixed pass- all four. Your passenger side door closes now. Well, all of all of them, but the driver side uh, shut. But now now they're all fixed. Well, here, my only issue with that is I've never had doors open just because they weren't locked. No, no, his his door wouldn't shut. Like, like it would shut, but then, like, if you went around the corner, you could fly out the side of the the car. I left it like that for like a week or two. I would I'd put I, on the car alarm and open, nobody just tried to open the door because the door would have just come open. I feel like people who just had to ride with William long enough just eventually sabotaged it so that they could get out easier. William, I'm going to ask you a question that I've asked you a few times up here. Are you really saying that this? Squinting thing that you're doing tonight is because of the same exact kind of. I'm not fact, even. In fact, I believe they turned the lights slightly down. Yeah, they did. Didn't they, they David? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's a. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> that's your. That's your. Argument. Do you want to shut up? Yeah, I can't oh, hear you. Either. Oh, <laughs> you don't mess with that guy. You I'm kidding, Raphael. I'm kidding. He's kidding. He's just kidding, Damon. Here I'm he goofing. Look, he's right there. Look it's the even look. brighter. Look are you at the look on his face, <laughs> Zach? Are you, you get in on? The, it's, it's just incredible. Are you on some kind of medication right now? Some pills or something? Because uh, of pills? Xanax. Well, Did you cry all night? Did you, night? It looks Did like you try crazy. Xanax? <laughs> kidding. Did you? No, no. It's been a while since I've done that. All right. Yeah, it's been years. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what about what happens when you take Xanax? Uh, I get on autopilot and I wake up the next day and I look at my telephone and wonder uh, what I what I spoke to so and so about for fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody you haven't talked to in years. That's what happens when I take Xanax. I black the fuck out. And I call people, and I look at my phone, and I talk to them for 15, 20 minutes, and I, I just worry about what I say. That's yeah. perfect. You keep on repeating the same questions over and over and over and over again, too, when you yeah, do that. I could. Yeah. William, I'm, I'm convinced you're holding in pooping your pants right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to, that just is going to let you go. Like <laughs> it really does. I think those tamales are... Uh, I kind of do have to take a shit. Brewing. I kind of honestly do. I really can tell you really wear it on your face. (laughs) (laughs) The whole time, it just looks like you had to shit. Now it really looks like you have to shit. You could be the first person to poop your pants. What if we just keep you up here the whole episode? Put him right there so he has to sit here. William, thank you so much. Another unbelievable performance. Fun times. The great William Montgomery, everybody. He was panicking earlier. 
He said he might not be ready for this one. So let's see what happens. He lowered the expectations. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. One of my favorite top young rising comedians in the world. It's the one, the only, the big red machine, William Montgomery. Here he is. I'm crazy. Happy Thanksgiving, Indiana! Uh, Anne Frank wrote in her diary that she and her best friend Marta would be best friends forever. I'll have to take her word for it. Uh, Anne Frank wrote some pretty funny jokes in her diary, mostly racist, but you know how the Jews are. Uh, Kamala Harris says her favorite word is progression, and her favorite sentence is life without parole for possession of marijuana. Uh, you know that stuff that they throw into the fire at the beginning of every episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, yeah, I can get you an ounce for 120. <laughs> uh, at this point, is there really any celebrity that didn't die of COVID in 2020 other than George Floyd? Oh. Jesus. Wow. Real, uh, real closer there, William Montgomery. Had nothing but had nothing but fire missiles throughout that. Segment. I have nothing but respect for George Floyd. Yeah, is that, is that a George Floyd hat you're wearing? Is that you could be speaking in Spanish right now? I don't understand you. It's got an F on it. Is that in honor of Floyd? George Floyd. Floyd? George Floyd. That's what the F stands for. I love him. Why? What do you love about him? That he didn't tap out when the cop's <laughs> knee was on the back. Of his fucking neck. Oh I respect God. that about him. Oh I respect God. that about him. I don't think tapping out was an option. He had his hands cuffed behind his back. Well, that's uh, that's that's hearsay. No, uh, that's what happened. It's on video. I don't know if that's what happened. It's like on Predator 1 when the guy was shaving in the jungle and accidentally broke his razor while shaving and blood came out. A lot of people compare the George Floyd murder to that. I've heard that. Yeah. Who are yeah. these people we're talking about? And what is Predator 1? It's a movie. Huh? What's a movie? Are you Hispanic? They had movies. No, I'm 100% white. They had movies in <laughs> the had 50s, motion Bill. motion pictures in the 50s. What's a movie? <laughs> That's when it started. I've been yeah, drunk. what's a movie? Get well, him out of here. Well, I've been drunk for the last 30 years. Yeah, I believe it. Aren't you on a twelve-step program? I am now, and that's why I'm asking. What are these these things? I didn't. What know are I these did. things? I'm in a twelve-step program. I've noticed. Quit I don't fucking like this doing this to this redhead. show. I don't like you. Bill, Somebody's been drinking. Bill, relax. Bill, relax. I'm calling down Bill. I, gotta call I, I my like sponsor. it when William gets fired up. Bill, just take a breath. Yeah, I'm fired up. I'm gonna call my sponsor. I'll see you guys. Will versus Bill. Predator two. Hey, your Did you eye, all see that movie? Your eyes are better now. Last week, you had some problems with your eyes. What happened? Yeah, you look much better. It is something called... Uh, what are those things you put in your eyes that help you with red eyes? Eye drops. Whiskey. Yeah, I, I did eye drops. Oh, wow. Really helped. Also helped with my diet. Yeah, you drank that some of them? No, I'm eating salads now. Wow, what kind of salads? Uh, Pesto the, salad. <laughs> Pesto okay. salad? Keep your mouth shut. That's not funny. Why what do you mean pesto? pesto what do you mean pesto salad? Potato salad probably is what he Potato meant. salad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating potato salad. William, I've never heard you use that voice before. I do a potato salad. Is that your potato salad? Voice? I eat potato salad. Is that your impression of potato salad? I'm eating a potato salad. What else does that guy eat? I mean corn. Corn and potato salad? What's your main dish? I mean, tortillas. Just tortillas? What are you putting in? Just tortillas. What are you putting in? With corn. And what? Potato salad. And what else? Potatoes. <laughs> what do you mean, what else? What are you drinking with it? Prune juice. Wow. Big twist there at the if end. If anyone uh, watching this, especially people in Malaysia, if y'all have tummy issues, uh, drink prune juice ah what does it do to you look right at that camera and tell them what pr the benefits of prune juice are you're the new spokesman for prune juice go right down the barrel slow zoom zach and here we go 
How's it going? My name is Philip Martinez. I am currently in Malaysia with all of y'all. Uh, start drinking prune juice. It really helps with your tummy. I learned it from my father, Larry. Uh, it help, helps you do do. There you go. Perfect. That is some just high quality. That's for the smart fans right there. Tony, can I just say, a so I've never seen, I never ever get to see this angle of the soundboard. And Red Man has a program open called Tap and Fart. I've literally been looking at that app for seven and a half years. <laughs> And my it's favorite, always my, my, been everything else has changed and evolved over the years, but there's always been one entire program called Tap and Fart. And, just, and he always gives me the way of like, just give it a second. Right. I always have to like hold him back uh-huh. because he literally once he opens the app. Hey Red Band, is that what makes it funny? Okay, you're allowed one an episode, Red Band. Hey William, if you ever want to quit drinking, I'll give you my phone number. I'm in the program now and I've done it for about a year. And cool, I think what's your phone number? Quit fucking talking to you're, me. You guys seem to have a real bad chemistry. Yeah. You well, can he just say reminds that. me of who I used to be, Tony. Wow. I used to be this guy. Yeah. Really? And now I look at you and I just feel I feel sad, I feel pity. Yeah. And then Shut the fuck your up. Your face is fucking swollen. Don't ever talk about it. It is me almost like Thanksgiving. It's already Yeah, be been thankful I don't kick that fucking ass. Oh. Don't kick that fuck shut up. Yeah, what, be what, thankful what are for you that, doing? You what are you doing for Thanksgiving, William? Last I week. Am making yeah, what did you do it, for Thanksgiving? What did you do? So for Thanksgiving, I made a really good turkey. I was really proud of it. I made uh, stuffings. Uh, I made chicken and stuffings. How did you make it? What was their prep for the stuffings? It is cans of biscuits uh, that you put in the crock pot along with cans of chicken. It's called chicken and stuffings. Uh, It's a real big hit. Uh, during Thanksgiving, uh, word to the wise, if you have an elder person you're cooking for that recently had a seizure, Uh-oh. don't make chicken and stuffings. It's filled with salt. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to have... You're going to have... That's you're going to have... There you go. That- the ambulance there... On Thanksgiving and not have a fun time. Perfect. Why didn't y'all help me on that? I thought y'all were going to help me on that. It felt like you were doing a Jeopardy question where you said, like, we're going, what is, and then you kept talking and you're waiting for Alex Trebek to end. And I just want to give a shout out to the African-American man up there who did the light down a little bit. It was good. It actually looked great on camera. Yeah, thank you so much. What are you looking at up there, you piece of shit? No, don't no. insult the lighting guy. Well, I like was, that because we don't, the African Americans, I, I feel the same way, but maybe we are closer than I thought. Well, you're married to one. Well, Starla is actually white right here. This is my wife right here. Hey, well, so you did all that cooking for Thanksgiving yourself? I did a bunch of cooking. Whole bunch of cooking. How long did you cook the stuffing for? He did the cooking. Uh, yeah, I did the cooking. Looks like he did most of the eating, too. What does that mean? I've lost 30 pounds in the past two two weeks. Really? How'd you do it? Uh, fin Fin. What's that? It is a now defunct uh, <laughs> uh, diet pill, but oh. I was able to find some. I fin Fin. Fin Fin. Oh, my, that's it, my Asian friend's name. My my dad and my mom, I guess in the '90s, uh, tried to sell diet cookies, and they invested like <laughs> like a lot of money into it. Diet and my grandma had to like bail them out because they, oh, had, shit. they had so many diet cookies that they oh were trying to God. sell. Do they like still have some of those? Can I get some? No, no, they're gone wow. now. A fun ate, fact about uh, Jeremiah's uh, mother and father is they were both there during the taping of his special family reunion. Yeah. What did they think, Jeremiah? What did they think about your German jokes? My German joke? I didn't have any particular German jokes that night, but I had jokes about them, and they were on each side of the stage, which made it pretty awkward. Have you talked to your parents lately, William? I uh, love your parents, by the way, William. My dad. I talked to Me Larry too. the other day. He said he texted texted you he texted me 
No, he texted Jeremiah. a Jeremiah. Oh. Yeah. We Instagram DM sometimes. Wow. wow. Look at that. Your dad's in my DMs, bro. Yeah. He wished me a happy birthday. Does he uh, ever send you some, like, you know, photos? He sends me nudies of William sometimes. <laughs> Just my little penis with the pink tip on my penis. He photoshops William's baby penis onto his adult body. <laughs> I, I was hoping funny. he photoshopped it onto Herbie the love bug, the then, car that talks. And then he puts his adult head on his baby body, and it's, like, really weird pictures that he sends. It's just the black dude they use for all those COVID memes. Shut up. I just learned what you memes messed are. messed up. Up you know enough what? episodes recently. I'm fucking tired of you, William. You need to get. We need to talk about this. You need to get into the program. You fucked William up Montgomery a- and William Billingsley having a William off right now. Mm. A lot of uh, a lot of anger. I yeah, changed my so life. Ex- Shut up. At least Starla doesn't stab me with keys. I try. Don't All right, William. That. Any anything else that we Bitch. missed since uh, last episode? What else? Anything else? I was in uh, Tampa Bay, Florida this past week. Had yeah. a hell of a time. There you go. Shout out to Tampa Bay, Florida, the new home of Tom Brady. Wiener schnitzel. There you go. There he he goes, everybody. The great William Montgomery, everyone. (laughs) On to the next one we go. There goes William. The show has begun, so I guess we have to just go to the big closer, our own uh, John... uh, John Rocker, if you will, a guy that throws nothing but fucking fastballs. Let's see what happens this week as I bring up the one, the only big red machine himself, the great William Montgomery. Here he comes. He's approaching the microphone. He's got I'm it. dizzy as shit. Uh, barking up the wrong tree sounds like what a homeless guy did outside my apartment this morning. Uh, I feel like schizophrenic homeless dudes are actually ghost whispers. They just aren't using their inside voice. <laughs> Imagine you're in this fantasy world where you're the king pimp and all the hoes bow down and are bringing you vanilla wafers and preparing a bath made of wine and then a homeless shelter volunteer interrupts to say, Melvin, this is your bunk. Uh, I wish they'd have to rename Sesame Street because it got gentrified and the unemployed puppets had to move. Uh, Shout out to Sesame Street for being both educational and also apparently an ice skating troupe coming to a city near you. Uh, Why did Hunter Biden knock up a stripper? He ran out of dead brother's widows to bang. (laughs) Very good. Look at that. I love it. Great job. Couple jokes in there where you made a face afterwards. What's that? Yeah, I'm dizzy as shit. Ah, oh, look at that turn. That's very interesting. I am really dizzy. Why are you dizzy? I don't know. I was uh, taking pills earlier. Mitch Burrow gave me some pills. What kind of pills did he give you? I don't know. He said they were Tylenol. I told him I had a really bad headache, and I don't know. I saw. I met his wife. Oh, the great Lee. Lee's here. Mitch is here, everybody. Mitch just yeah, walked Mitch. in. What are the odds yeah. of this? Mitch is having a baby. baby. Hey, Mitch, I just got to tell you, it's not your kid. Whoa. If that thing comes out with a red beard, you should be scared. Or if it comes out with a tail. I actually have a tail. You do? Yeah, it's right above my butthole. Oh, my God. That's like in your butt crack? Yeah, it's like a brown tail. What? Why is it brown? It's like a foot long. What, do, can I you, have to uh, tuck it in my underpants. Can you wiggle it? Yeah, I can fucking wiggle it. <laughs> it's my tail. Were you born with it? Can I wiggle it? <laughs> were, were, yeah, I can wiggle it. You, it's my fucking tail, Tony. Do your parents have tails? Yeah, my parents know about it. Do your parents have tails? Yeah, my parents know about it. Let's call them right now and ask them if they know about it. Can we call them? Should we? Yeah, we should. Let's, how many of you think we should call William's parents right of now? Of course. Put them on speakerphone. Put the butt end of the... Uh, I got to get my phone. Oh, you don't... I thought... Oh. Nah, forget Yeah, it's on the bridge. Can oh, you, look at that. Oh, look, it's Mitch Burrow, everybody. Famously, the last guest from the last episode of Kill Tony. There goes Mitch. Let me look up Papa's cell. Uh-oh. Papa's cell. Is it... A tale of two parents. Tale of two tales. Uh oh. Put that up to put it on speakerphone and put it up to the butt end of that uh, phone. Let's wake up your parents out in Memphis, Tennessee. 
here we go. We're about to talk to the Montgomerys. This is very exciting. There we go. Zach zooming in on William here on the YouTube. Don't zoom in. You no, it's <laughs> hey, oh. Papa, I was telling him about my tail. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> the tail right above my butthole. Oh, yeah, that tail. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Montgomery. It's Tony Hinchcliffe here with Kill Tony. Hey, Tony. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> it's another beautiful day. William's telling us that he has a tail uh, on the, on his backside, an actual tail that he he's, he's, he believes that he can wiggle and shake. He says he's had it his whole life. Have you ever seen this tail before? Uh, I have not, but it, I'd like to because it would finally be a talent that we could find. <laughs> <laughs> your dad doesn't think you're talented. <laughs> How's life been out there in uh, beautiful Memphis, Tennessee? Uh, it's we have uh, a lot of great crime going on. Oh. We hear gunshots every night. Uh, I gave William a really good gag, but he he doesn't ever use my gags. Okay, will you do it for us? You do the gag. Okay, here it is. And this is true. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, I read in the paper that five NBA players were meeting with the Pope about world poverty. And uh, I thought to myself, how ironic is that? The Pope is a guy who lives in a gold castle behind a big wall, and the NBA players make $10 million a year. So can you imagine that conversation? The Pope, says, the Pope says, man, it must suck to be poor, and the NBA players say, no shit. <laughs> That's my joke. That's why William didn't tell it, because it's, I guess, not very funny. I love no, your joke. That was great. No, it's good. You got bigger laughs than William got tonight. Without a doubt. That's a great... That's, that's, a, that's a low bar, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Mr. Montgomery, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Uh, next time you see William, ask him to show uh, his tail. Yeah, I will. Great talking to you all. Y'all all take care of yourself. And I saw Jeremiah is going to have a boy. That is so wonderful. Congrats. And, yeah. Indeed. Yes, he is. Y'all keep doing great. We love you know, sir, your son is one of the top gay comedians in Los Angeles. <laughs> That's what he tells me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember coming home one night, sort of drunk at three in the morning, and I am fixing a cup of water, and you and Mama come down, and out of nowhere, you're like, William, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, and it didn't surprise me a bit when you said you were. <laughs> ah, tell the Mrs. Uh, tell Mrs. Montgomery we all said hello, Mr. Montgomery. It was so great to talk to you. Have a great night. She's right here. You want to say hi to her? Yeah, she ran off. Uh, okay. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye. There you go. That's the Montgomerys, everybody. How cool is that? Always a hit on this show, the Montgomerys. You have such cool parents, William. What the fuck happened to you? I uh, started losing in Battleship to my my cousin Taylor, and I couldn't deal with it. And then I found out I couldn't read, and then I couldn't <laughs> go to the beach, and then I forgot to bring towels at the beach, and I was out in the surf. And what are you looking at, Red Band? I just was with that fucking face. Uh, I'm telling a funny story, and you're blankly looking at me. Well, your what dad, the fuck is going on? Your dad didn't know that you had a tail, and you said you lied to us. I have a fucking tail, Red Band. How many of you think William should show us his tail right now? To close tonight's episode, this is it. Here it is. Oh, he's reaching for the belt. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm going to me to you. A lot of people said this would never happen. It's a brown tail. Oh, he's doing the shoulder shake. We've seen this before. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here it comes. Uh-oh. The shorts are the shorts are coming down. Here we go. Okay, here it is. He's pulling it down. No, he's not going to do it. I can't. Wow. 
He's trying to I, make a- Tony, I actually don't have a tail. Oh, wow. You <laughs> lied to us about that. Wow. I knew I was right. I have to be truthful with y'all. I actually don't have a tail. Well, we believe you. We believe you, William. I got a black eye the other day. Yeah, how'd you get a black eye? Somebody punched me. Yeah, for what? Got in a big fight. About what? Uh, groceries. <laughs> what about the groceries? Just buying produce, and I'm at the grocery store, and this guy named Frank comes up, and he's like, hey, those are my groceries. And I look at him like, Frank, this is a grocery store. <laughs> there goes William Montgomery, everybody. 